I'm back with another mukbang, truck bang challenge. Come get you some. Yo, today we got some sushi. I don't get a lot of people watch my sushi videos, so like and comment. Spam the comments up. Let me put this thing in park before I wreck my truck. Bars. Go ahead and get this thumbnail out of the way. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. And, and yeah, that, that ain't a lot of sushi. I don't care, it look pretty though. It actually look good, it look real good. It really look pretty. Let me put these chopsticks in. Oh yeah. Boy, if I drop this, I just got a feeling. And my feeling ain't never wrong. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Ah, cha 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 Anyway, we got a birthday roll and a sumo roll. The birthday roll is, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. The birthday roll is topped with tempura shrimp, Cream cheese. I forgot I got my glasses on. Crab stick at, at the top. <laughs> God dog it. And the sumo, the sumo, the sumo roll is a shrimp and pearl, snow crab inside, topped with a salmon to pearl, avocado, and special sauce. What the special sauce is? So whichever one that got the cream cheese in it, that's the one that's the birthday roll. I'm gonna have to say surprise, cause I really don't know. Kid folks, we finna say grace and we finna get it in. Come get you some. Amen. And amen again, Kid Folk. Um, I may look bloated. <laughs> but uh I was cooking something, I said, man, I ain't gonna eat this. Cause the heat took half my appetite and then cooking it gonna take the rest of it. So I'm just chilling out. I, I cooked half of it and I'm gonna leave it at that. I could, I went halfway and I'll probably do that tomorrow. But it's hot, man. It's 97 degrees here. And I, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't fight this heat. I can't, I can't. And I'm like my mama, when it's hot, she don't have a good appetite. She be eating salads and stuff. And I ain't finna eat no salad. Well, she was eating salad. I ain't finna eat no salad. She eat whatever she want now. I wonder what she eat for. She probably eating fish. And that was her favorite dish. Don't, don't, don't do rock him. Don't go to rock him. Any, mini, mighty, ho, ho. Cause I don't know which one to. Okay, this, this, this look like it got the cream cheese in it. So this the birthday roll. See that? You see, it look pretty delicious, man. First bite, oh, so nice. Don't forget my uh, my sauce. Mm. Why does sushi taste like a pork shop? Let me try another one. Skip up, I don't know which one I'm eating. I promise. Now, I think this is a sumo roll. Oh no, this got the cream cheese in it. And the crab on top, man, I'm tripping. That got the cream cheese in the shrimp. And these are quite delicious.
I hope y'all can hear me. Okay. Crab stick on top. What's that? A shredded crab stick? Do it say crab stick? Okay. The birthday roll is the is this one. I forgot to show it to you. Like, nigga, bro, we don't know what you're eating. Neither do I can. I can barely see it. That's this one. That's the birthday roll. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And today is my mother's birthday. I forgot to tell y'all that. Baby Jean. Happy birthday, mama. That's what I got to say. She be talking to me. I wouldn't even order him. Thinking it was her birthday. I knew it was her birthday, but I wasn't ordering. I was just looking to see what stuff had in it. That's awesome. Gotta go to work. It's officially vacation season. I didn't have to work last night, but I went in to help out. Cause they shut the restaurant down. Cause the group bought the restaurant out. When I tell you they are pampered. It was a barbecue buffet and all we did was clear tables. <laughs> y'all know where I work at. So y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk about it. Hope my boss man don't watch my video. <laughs> <laughs> what it is. <laughs> but all I did was clear and set up the buffet. And, you know, you ain't gonna leave no money on the table for here. Thanks for clearing the table. Here's some such such such. I made no tips. Just a tip out when they leave and, and they leave. I don't know how it works. It just it's gonna be a lot of money, but you could be nice if you ain't leaving no money. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why I did that. I'm just picking the place up off the table. Right there in front of them, and they ain't saying nothing. First time I did that, I said, okay. Okay. Then I start going around, put the table up, they ain't say nothing. I say, you welcome. <laughs> Try to be, come on, man, all you gotta do say thank you. When I'm leaving the bill, when I'm paying the bill, I say thank you. You welcome. And then by the second or third round, it was like, thank you. I said, yeah. You get it, huh? Ain't got time for that.
driving over here? Seen the pregnant woman walking in his heat. Oh man. How's you looking? She had the stank face like. I said, yeah. Well think about this when you made it, was you? And the same face I be making. My kids asked me for money. When I had to get their mama money. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that either. I thought it was gonna be a perfect family. I ain't talking about Jaden and her mama. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get that out of the way right now. No, you go. Yeah, you right. You ain't do nothing wrong. Thinking about being perfect family and stuff. You ain't gonna never be a baby mama. You ain't gonna never be a baby daddy. Shit. Whatever, nigga. Girl. I'm talking about she had a shoe bottle. Pass out, too. Ain't no way you was acting like this when you was making it. Ain't no way, like, uh, 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 uh. It might have been a little close, but not like this. That's the stank face. That's the boo boo face right there. Uh. See a fool already. But this birthday one good. Give up when I tell you, I be ignoring them tables outside. I'm sorry, I hope my boss man. <laughs> it's just too hot out there. And then I go out to the table, they be like, it's hot out here, ain't it? I said, hell yeah, why you wanna sit out here? You out here having lunch with the devil. sense boy you can cook an egg out here it was 107 yesterday I got in the truck I seen how it was I promise you I almost didn't go to work I'm like I'm working that department what are, what are they gonna do I promise I was drained by the time I got to work and the people that were sitting outside they stayed out there because I ain't going out there somebody else wouldn't got them I promise you I'm too big and black to be outside in a long sleeve black shirt. You, you ever seen a black dude melt like a snowman? That'll be me. You could cook an egg on my shoulders, I promise. Oh man. And I like, out of all y'all people, out of 400 people, out of 500 people, out of 400, I mean, the company bigger, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's more than 400 people working for the company. Ain't but four people out here that's the same as me. Out of 400, man, that's crazy. Any weddings out there? <laughs> like I say, y'all know where I work at. Any weddings out there? 200 people wedding. 300 people weddings. You know, none of them be us. You mean tell me you don't know no people that's not your race? And by race, I mean black. I say it. You don't know no black people. 
<laughs> you don't know no black people. You ain't got a black nanny or nothing. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Ain't even no tan people in this wedding party. Good Lord. I'm talking about none. That's all for me to believe. Like, if hell freeze over and I have a wedding, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some white people at my wedding. You mean to tell me? Ain't no black people or no Latino brothers cutting your grass or nothing? <laughs> I'm just saying. You ain't gonna invite them to it. You ain't got no accountant that's like, Indian or something. I feel like I'm walking a real thin line when I said all that stuff, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just, my thing is, you don't know no minorities. And pretty much by minorities, I mean black. What's that? Excuse me. I seen something. Okay, I'm finna switch this right quick. I seen something like, Black people were slaves, started being enslaved in 1526. 1526, you add 400 years of that, man, that's a long ass time. We've been getting our ass whooped for years. That's a long time. That's generations. That's generations of enslaved men. That's a long time, man. Like, I'm being on this earth 50 years, that's a long time. My daddy, my mom and daddy is in their 80s. That's a, that's a long time. For something to keep going on, we talking about four hundred years. That's crazy. You give us another two hundred years, then I ain't gonna never see that lifetime. And then we be like, okay, it should be, you know, we should be on a even playing field. And people start acting right. Let me say that. Cause that's catch up like a mug. 400 years is a long time. I just really thought about it. He put 1526 in front of me. I say, God, dog. I mean, it's like, it's just like we just got out of it, really. If you include, if you compare 400 years to what, 100 or something? It's going to take about 200, 300 more for us to catch up. And y'all be like, you think we caught up? We ain't caught up yet. Nowhere near close from what I be saying. You got a 500 person event and ain't no black people there. Good God Almighty. It's telling you something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't putting color in it. I'm just, I just something I thought. This, like old boy in Jacksonville, the DJ said, this is just my thoughts of what I've been thinking. I'm just saying, I, I got a whole bunch of people I communicate with. I do. I just don't see how I can just talk to black people just black people, be somewhere with just black people. In my life, if I were to ever get married, and I don't want to be with nobody, it's just no black people. I mean, black is beautiful. I love being black, but, you know, that don't show progress. I'm probably going to catch it from, from somebody, but just like I'm saying, <laughs> I hope, and I done, I, done seen, I done seen black weddings with some white people, and and and, and I, I, I done seen uh, white weddings with no black people, I promise. No, I'll take that back. I done seen, I done seen some white women, with no, but out there I haven't. The other place I worked at, I done seen something, but it was like one black person. That's crazy. I don't get it. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I don't get it. But that is what it is. You, do, you, you invite whoever you want to invite. You invite whoever you think will give you a gift, I guess. But I mean, don't take offense. I ain't saying I'm racist. I just saying my, I, 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 man, I just be talking about stuff and don't and be forgetting other people gonna hear this. I'm just saying, it's like walking in Walmart. I'm gonna shut up. I guess you have to be around. It's the it's the environment you're in. Hey man, spare the comments up and let me know 
how much you think I shouldn't have said what I just said. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I, it's just whatever. If we don't break down these obstacles, somebody out there right now by thinking like, hey, Donna, you know what? We're going to invite Ted. And Donna like, Ted, Bill? Are you sure? Are you sure we're going to invite Ted? He might feel a little uncomfortable. But hey, look, Gilmo said we should know a black person. We should invite them to the wedding. It'll show progress. Why, 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 yes, Bill, you're right. I'm going to talk Ted right now and tell him he doesn't have to come to work Saturday. He's going to our wedding. And you know what? We can tell him to bring a friend. And then Ted showed up with a white girl. <laughs> Yo, that was uh the sumo and the uh, birthday roll from sumo from sumo. It mean ass people down there. They mean man. I don't know. They be talking. They be on the phone. I be like, yeah. I said, what? Yeah, how can I help you? Come on, man. Where's the customer service at, Mr. Sumo? Mr. Sumo be like, I don't give a damn about that stuff. That's how I feel. I feel like there's no hope for that stuff. I feel like they see your black ass coming up and they be like, hey, just get him in and get him out. Cause they mean, man. They mean. I promise. I keep saying I promise a lot. Like, like I ain't got a lot of y'all. I don't care if you believe it or not. Boy, this shirt look like I'm about to bust out that joker. I got titties. Anyway, I'm finna go to work, man. Damn, I gotta go to work too. Yeah, I got it's 98 degrees now. I don't know what to do with myself. But uh, y'all be easy, man. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. New video tomorrow. I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe, stay blessed. Stay kinfolk. Comment! Bussin'.